If you had $600 to your name and were about to be homeless, how would you spend this money to guarantee the ability to live? I heard that a lot of jobs won't hire you if you don't have a phone number and address. So I'd get a P.O. box and a phone. You okay bro? Get a 24 hour gym membership so you have a shower, water and could probably get away with sleeping in, maybe. Then look for a job as soon as possible. A backpack, sleeping bag, good shoes and a sharpie. Use part of that money to buy clothes to look presentable at job interviews, book a room at the cheapest hotel slash hostel I can find, and look for a job as soon as possible. Even better, I would go with the suggestion of another person here and get a 24 hour gym membership so you have access to showers. Use that money to make yourself look presentable for upcoming job offers. After you find a job, a month or two sleeping in your van you'll be in a better situation financially to find a place to live. All easier said than done though. Good luck. Also another option, since you have a van. Find a cheap campground with showers slash water slash bathroom slash hookup. That should give you enough to live for a month and have money for food if you eat light. Find a job in the meantime. Only spend on absolute necessity. Even little things. If you can get them for free do it toothbrush toothpaste you can walk into most dental offices and they'll give you one of the sets for free. Apply for food stamps now if you haven't already. Gym membership for a shower is good too but stop in your local imca they may let you for free. Cheap peanut butter and can tuna is your friend you'll need protein. And apply for jobs right now. Best of luck. You say you have a van. So you have shelter. In my area there are plenty of $9.99 a month gyms. You can stay fit with all of the cheap food you'll be eating and have access to restrooms and showers. You can live like that for a good amount of time. Certainly enough to get a job and maybe put a bed in the van. Next comes moving into a cheap apt. Be as frugal as you can and you can survive for quite a while. If you can't get a job right away try getting some odd jobs. In this condition $50 for a days of work goes a very long way. Maybe get some good looking clothes at a thrift store to stay looking like you aren't homeless. If there aren't gyms like that around, see if a friend will help you out by letting you live in your van on the driveway, but shower in their house and use their microwave. Don't know where you're located or if it's convenient, but you can dry camp for free on federal BLM land. It buy into you clothes and enough food staples to be stable for a little while. And I echo the gym membership for shower privileges. If you're looking for work, the quickest I ever got paid from a new job was when I got a serving job at a restaurant and continued to look for something better while slinging shitty food at a chain restaurant. Good luck, man. Okay, so I've actually done this. Here's how that went down. Backstory is TLDR. I left my wife after paying all our bills that month, so I was working with maybe $600. I put $80 towards a storage unit and threw all the shit I could carry in my little ass truck into that. Then another $50 or so towards a gym membership. So now I'm working with $450 or so. Stocked up on canned food and toiletries for the next two weeks. Coupons, bogo, whatever deal I could get. Probably ran $100. Used another $50 to fill my gas tank then I cruised around till I found a safe spot to park and live. Bonus, it was a hotel parking lot with Wi-Fi. Slept in the back seat of my truck. Used Wi-Fi for entertainment. Went to the gym every day before work, exercised and then shit, shower and shave there. Did this for like 3 months, and stashed away all the cash I could, until I had enough for a first and last month's security deposit on a new little apartment. Started saving to buy furniture from there. Started with a little blow up mattress. I'm about furnished now, 3 to 4 years later. E. It obviously helped that I did have an income. 
so I wasn't working with only $600, but for that first month I was struggling a bit. Once I got a good budget going each pay period I was good to go. Just wasn't making enough to go right into a new place right away. Also, car insurance was a good $200 a month, and I was paying on my financed vehicle a good $400 a month, so it took me a while to get enough money stashed away to get a new place. E2, forgot to mention, I did my laundry at a laundromat every weekend for like $6, and I spent like $60 on luggage initially. One bag for dirty clothes, another for a gym bag and another bag for clean clothes. Would hit the gym and stash clean clothes in gym bag, workout, hygiene, dirty clothes in the bottom of gym bag then, to dirty clothes bag once I got back to my vehicle. I don't think anyone knew I was actually homeless to be honest. Hid in plain sight in hotel parking lot. Nobody realizes you're in there if your car isn't running. People are dumb and don't look. Saw all kinds of dumb shit go down right in front of me. I'm in this exact position. I've been here before too. My next move is going to a planet fitness and exercising there overnight while sleeping in a tent or homeless shelter in daytime. I'm looking fervently for work so that I can afford a cheap car to sleep in and from there get a low income apartment. It sucks but keep your head above all the drugs and drinking and this will only be temporary. I was homeless in LA for 3 months. Do not do this to yourself. Korean spas are $25 a night, homeless shelters are not safe, and halfway houses are dangerous. LA is very very hard and not very forgiving. Stretch it as far as possible. Actually kinda been there before. If you need something please, let me know if I can help in any way. Here's what I think would be smartest. Backslash, sell service, $25 to $45 a month, absolutely necessary to contact emergency services, browse the internet, and apply for jobs even. Backslash, gym membership, $10 to $20 a month, important for hygiene and shelter even. Backslash, solar phone charger slash power bank, $30 to $50, optional, power outlets may not always be available and electricity is extremely important. Backslash, important first aid kit with extra gauze, $20, some offer extreme variety for all situations like burns slash stings, some even have reflective coating emergency warmth blankets. You cannot risk having an injury that you cannot tend to right away. Do not risk getting an infection from cuts also. Always disinfect right after. Neosporin or Burt's Bees Rescue ointment can come in handy. Backslash. Multitool with knife slash scissors. $7 to $20. Can be used to cut things. Knife can be used to defend in worst case. Multitools are often not classified as a weapon either. Backslash. 70% rubbing alcohol. $2. Very important to stay clean or disinfect. Backslash, paper towels, $5, for cleaning up, can be used alongside rubbing alcohol. Backslash, plenty of alcohol swabs, like $2, can be used for quick cleaning up, there will probably be some in first aid kits. Backslash, duct tape, $5, really, it can be used to put anything together, like torn clothing or shoes, even shelter. Backslash, waterproof bag, $10, keep your electronics. Perhaps some clothes in this in case of rain. Backslash. Compact umbrella. $10. Keep yourself dry and don't get sick when outside. Backslash. Rechargeable flashlight. Dollar sign 15 dash 25. These new ones come with 18,650 batteries and USB charging. Has 900 lumens. You could also use your phone flashlight, but it will be much weaker. Backslash. Portable bug zapper, optional, $20, will kill mosquitoes, bugs, and other flying pests, if you are sleeping outside, also acts as a lantern, backslash, thermal bag, $15 to $25, can allow food to stay warm or cold for longer periods of time without spoiling, if you plan to buy food from the store, backslash, comfortable walking shoes, extremely important for getting around without having your feet hurting, Backslash, extra packaged dry food and water reserves in case your van breaks down. 
backslash, a cheap and small scooter, optional, but perhaps if you feel your van will be able to get everywhere or is reliable. Backslash, disinfecting wipes and hand sanitizer, it's important to keep clean, or else you can risk getting sick. Backslash, sanitary wet toilet wipes, $5, absolute must for personal hygiene, many can also be used for face slash hair slash body. Backslash, decent toothbrush, toothpaste, and floss, $10, preventing dental problems is much cheaper than solving them. Backslash, soap slash shampoo, $10, important for cleaning up and showers. Backslash, razor and shaving cream, $10, can be very important before job interviews and keeping clean. Backslash, daily multivitamins, $10, if you are eating food with poor nutrition, take every other day, to protect from any deficiencies. This will leave you with about $400 to $450 left over to spend on food, gas, or other fees, and getting you through, before you ultimately try for a job, also meaning formal clothes. Also, always make sure to drink enough water. Dehydration will weigh you down majorly. Your library or YMCA will be able to provide you local job listings and seriously important knowledge for getting a job. They have computers as well, that you can create a resume on, develop your professional skills, and browse slash apply to job websites. Also, do you have a smartphone? If you enjoyed the stories, slap the like and subscribe button for more of them, and don't forget to support the original writers with an upvote, links are in the description. Peace out, and catch you tomorrow.